Hello, Gemini viewers. Sorry I've been away working at my other job the past month, but I'm back now. I've just been working a little bit more than usual. But as always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at aol.com, and that email is right below in the description box that's below this video. So you can just copy and paste it. And let's see what's going on with you guys. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness intention, manifestation, magic, power, cold, guarded, distrusting, confusion, and uncertainty. I feel like someone's doubting their manifestations, waiting, hoping, praying. Open, honest communication, message. Willpower, strength, and confidence. Reconciliation. X the past. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Hmm. Okay, full disclaimer here because. Full disclaimer here, because usually I do not tell people to message their exes. Usually I tell them to wait for them to come to you, okay? So this is very rare for me to say this. So I just want to say only, you know, if this is your reading and you're resonating to a T and you've been feeling for a while that your spirit guides want you to message this person, like you've been called to do it and you know intuitively it's time, but you've been afraid to, then, you know, your spirit guides are saying it's time. But I just want to put this disclaimer out there. I'm not responsible for what does or does not happen as a result of these messages. I'm never responsible for anything that you choose to do as a result of these readings. You know, that's it's up to you. It, it's really up to you if this resonates with you or not. And I can't guarantee how that's going to go because what I'm feeling from this is that for some, for some it will lead to reconciliation, but for others it won't. For others it's going to lead to closure. But I'm feeling like this is a cycle that needs to wrap up one way or another. Because I feel like this person is actually blocking you from manifesting somebody new. I feel like this person's blocking you from your own power, your own magic. And I don't want to say like, oh, you're allowing them to, you know, because it's hard. When you feel alone, when you feel isolated, when you feel like you're heartbroken over someone, when you miss someone, it's it's hard. It's, it's hard to, to pull back from that. But I feel like this energy has been kind of keeping you stuck a little bit. It's been keeping you kind of confused, kind of, you know, in the dark here a little bit. Because the vibe I got right off the bat off these, these cards up here was, you know, that you aren't in your full power. You're, you're being, you're not, you're, you have like a block is basically what I'm feeling here. There's something blocking you from fully manifesting the the love and abundance and money and life that you want. And for some, I can, okay, for most, I feel like this is love. For most of you, I feel like this is a love message that needs to be sent. But you know what? This could be a message to a toxic family member. Maybe there's a toxic family. There's a few different stories here. This could be a message to a toxic family member that wants you to come have Christmas with them. And your gut is telling you, like... This person could be racist, sexist, homophobic, whatever. And your gut is telling you, like, don't go. Don't don't be in that environment. Don't be in that energy. Put this person in their place and tell them that you're done, that you're, you're not going to allow that. It's almost like this person could be like a psychic vampire that's kind of holding on to you. And you need to cut the cords. You need to end the soul contract so that you can free yourself. And, you know, maybe everyone around you is like, oh, they're, they're your, your, you know, your mom or your dad or your aunt or uncle or whatever, or sister, brother, you know, they're, they're still your relative. You need to go see them. And intuitively you're like, no, I don't feel like I want to, like, I don't feel called to be in that environment. And so you really need to stand up here and cut the cords and, you know, reclaim your power. For others, though, I feel like this is like an ex or somebody from your past, you know, take it as it resonates. Could be a friend or family member. It could also be um, a romantic partner, though. But it's it's someone who's potentially a psychic vampire and someone who's also just kept you from, from your power is basically what I'm getting. 
It's like you're trying to manifest things in your life you know, money, career, success, love, abundance, and you might have this person that's working against you. Now, this person could actually be actively working against you, like, you know, black magic or um, just be someone that's like a relative that's jealous of you that doesn't want to see you doing better than them. Could be just um, just through the cords, you know, like just draining your energy on a psychic level without you realizing it, and you need to cut those cords. And remember that, you know, family is not always blood. For others, though, I feel like it could be not necessarily that they're doing anything to you, but that the um, the trauma or the or whatever happened in the connection is is creating a block. So let's say this was like a family member that abused you as a child. Maybe they've completely moved on from you, but there's still some part of you that's afraid of being in your power, afraid of of opening your throat chakra and being heard, afraid of being in that environment again or let's say that this is an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend that you know broke your heart it's like maybe some part of you is just there, there's just this leftover fear there's something kind of blocking you here from you know stepping into your full power and I think it needs to be acknowledged I think that it's you know I know people hate these readings whenever I do these readings people I know people are going to come at me in the comments and be like oh I did this I did this already okay well if you did then it's not for you it's for somebody else okay but somebody needs to hear this message so when I get these channel messages I'm going to put them out you know because it's important for somebody because there's somebody who's getting frustrated here somebody in this energy group you know probably several people in this energy group there's people here that are getting frustrated because it's like you're you're doing the affirmations. You're doing all the work to manifest the life that you want. And it's just it just seems like there's just a block and you can't figure it out. And I'm telling you, this is what that is. It just feels like, you know, like you're so close to your manifestations and then you start feeling isolated and alone and, conf you know, confused. Because some part of you is still cold and guarded and distrusting. Some part of you is still not as open as, as you think you are. And it, it makes sense. If you go through trauma, it's it's not easy to, to be open after that. It's not easy to heal from it. But it might be one of those things where it's like you didn't really know how to deal with it, so you kind of swept it under the rug. Or it could even be like even further back, like childhood, like some kind of subconscious wound, like even, even seeing something traumatic as a kid that blocked your third eye that needs to be dealt with now so that you can open your third eye back up. You know, there's there's different stories here. It's the same energy group, but I hope you guys understand there's a few different variations of this story. But um But yeah, it just seems like someone's getting confused because it's like they're doing all the right things. Like they're saying the affirmations, they're they're doing the work and they're not seeing their, you know, what they're trying to manifest come to fruition. And it feels like there's something that needs to be cleared up. Now, I feel like a lot of you have been waiting for this. Like you've been waiting for this ex to come back around or you've been waiting if this is like a family member or a friend, like you've been waiting for them to reach out or waiting for them to apologize but I feel like if that's the situation, I feel like you've been waiting too long. Like you've been waiting months, if not years, for this to, to happen. And I feel like maybe it's time to send a message just for yourself. And that's, again, why I want to put the disclaimer out. It might not go well. This person might tell you to F off, okay? Like they might. I don't know. It, it's going to, for some, it's going to go well. For some, it's not going to go well. I don't, I don't want to get blamed if it doesn't go well for you. But the thing is, it's going to be a blessing in disguise. Even if they tell you to F off, it's going to be a blessing in disguise as much as it hurts because you're going to have that closure. You're, you're going to finally understand. It's almost like maybe some part of you has always been waiting for this apology or waiting for this communication. And even if they, even if it doesn't go well, even if they just tell you off or block you, you're, you're good. It's going to hurt, but it, you're going to get it. It's, it's going to sink into your head that that this connection is over or that this person isn't the loving, empathetic person you thought they were. You know what I mean? Like, I think you need to send this message, but it's not for them. I hope that makes sense. Like, you need to send this message, but it's not for them. It's not, it's not about what they, what they're going to say or how, or what's going to happen with the connection. You're sending this message for yourself. Because you don't deserve to have to wait and hope and pray anymore. You don't deserve to be stuck anymore, to be stagnant anymore. You deserve to move forward with them or without them. 
And like I said, for some, for some, this could be a connection that you actually want to end. This could be you just speaking your truth to a family member and just saying, you know what, screw you. I'm not coming for Christmas this year. I don't, I'm not going to be talked to like that again. I'm done. I'm out. I'm going to have Christmas with people, you know, I'm going to have a, a friend's Christmas with people that I actually love, people that actually understand me and accept me, you know? I'm getting emotional because like, I love the LGBT community so much. I like I have a soft spot for gay men. I love gay men so much. And I'm feeling like one person in this group I feel like is a, either gay or lesbian and you're considering cutting a toxic family member out that doesn't accept you. Cut their ass out. Cut them out, okay? Just cut them out. Like it makes me sad. It makes me emotional. Like oh. It's really it's oh, it's so sad. It makes me upset, but it, it seems, yeah, it seems like a family member that's not accepting them, that's not, that wants them to change, that wants to try to force them to be straight, and you know what, it's okay, it doesn't matter if you're, if the rest of the family understands or not, it's okay to cut this person out, it is okay to say, F you, I'm done, I'm gonna be around people that actually love me and accept me just as I am. Even if you have to be alone this Christmas, it sucks, it, it hurts, don't get me wrong, but you know what? It's better than being around someone that's going to degrade you and try to change you and try to make you make you feel like crap about yourself. You know what I mean? I feel like you've been the bigger person long enough. You've given them the benefit of the doubt and hope that they would change long enough. But it's time for you to just do what's right for yourself. It's really time for you to just do what's right for yourself. You don't need to go home for Christmas if you don't feel drawn to do so. Okay? Trust me. You, you need to do what's right for yourself. You need to put yourself first. Even if you have to be alone for, the, for, for a while, you're, you're, you're going to start manifesting the right person, the right people. But you have to clear this toxic energy up first, whatever this is. So, so yeah, for some, it's, it's sending a message to a toxic family member or a toxic friend. Could be someone you waited and hoped and prayed that they would get it together, that they would, you know, accept you, that they would apologize to you, that they would understand you. And this person might just be a, a demon. This person might just be a low-level piece of crap. And you might need to just cut them out just for yourself. Um, for others, you know, and like I said, it's going to hurt. It's probably, there's, you know, for some of you, it's going to hurt a lot at first. It's going to be hard, but it's going to, it's going to shift things for you because you're going to see that this person is toxic. You know what I mean? Like you're going to finally see that, you know, the apology that you're waiting for, it wasn't coming. The, the change you're waiting for with this toxic person, it wasn't, it wasn't about to come. If it ha it's been years, it's not, it's not coming. I hate to say it, but you have family out there. You have soul family out there. You have people that will accept you, that will love you for you, but you got to clear this toxic energy up. You got to clear these people out and start resonating with people that are actually going to treat you well and love you. You know what I mean? Oh, it's emotional. But, um, but anyway, so for others, like I said, there's a few different stories here for others. I feel like for others, I feel like this is an ex. This is like an ex that hurts you and you know, you've been waiting and hoping that they kind of see the light, that they feel lucky to have you. And it's time to just send this message for yourself. And I don't think this would be someone that you like broke up with like a month ago, you know? I mean, it could be, take it as it resonates, but this is more like a situation, the energy I'm getting is more like a situation where it's like been months, if not years, that you've just been waiting and waiting and waiting and in the back of your head always, you know, maybe you always saw this person as your true love and you always, some part of you was always hoping to get it together. I think you need to tell this person what you feel for yourself. You know, it's going to take willpower and strength and confidence but some of you just need to tell this person what you feel just for yourself, just so it's out there. So you're not wondering what could have been. And they might be like, you know what, whatever. I don't, I don't feel anything for you. And it, yeah, it's going to hurt like hell, but you're it, It's going to allow you to move forward with your life. It's going to allow you that, you know, you need to make this room in your life to manifest the person that will love you properly that will accept you and love you just as you are. For some, it will lead to reconciliation. Not for all, but for some, it actually will lead to reconciliation with this person. But um, yeah, you can plan the approach. You can choose their words. You can really think about what you want to say. This could be on social media. This could be a call. This could be a letter, a actual mailing something. It could be a text, whatever it is. But it's just, it's time to speak your truth for yourself. 
I feel like this, this group has throat chakra blocks. So it's really time to clear up this energy because this is whatever this is. And you know what this is, whether this is a toxic friend or family member, if someone from your past that abused you, um, an ex that really you thought was your true love and they broke your heart, you know, whatever it is, this energy is what's been blocking you from manifesting the life that you want. And like I said, for some, you need to end the soul contract and you also need to cut the cords and end that connection because this person might be a psychic vampire that's just draining you, that's just picking up on your energy. And you really just, you need to step into your power. You need to be strong. And your family might, your family, your entire family could be toxic. Your entire family could be like, how dare you not come to Christmas? But it's like, you know what, that's, that, that might not be your soul family. A lot of people were not born into their soul families this lifetime. So it's possible that your biological family is not your soul family. So, you know, screw them. You don't, you don't need that energy in your life. You can manifest people that actually love you and actually really understand you. But, but clear up these, these toxic, judgmental people, whoever they are. If this is family, clear that energy up. Let them think what they want to say. Let them spread rumors. But clear it up and protect yourself and give yourself that freedom, that dignity. And, you know, so you can start manifesting the life and the love and, and the people that you really want in your life. You know, and I know it's not easy being alone for the holidays, but I just feel like it's so much worse being around people that that just don't understand you and that are just going to put you down. It's not worth it. Don't put yourself through that abuse, okay? Love yourself more than that. Put yourself first for a change. And, um, yeah, that's, that's just what I'm feeling. And like I said, for some though, this could be an ex that you need to just speak your truth. It's just, this energy just needs to be cleared up. And I think once you do this, I think this is something that, like I said, I think that you're conscious of what this is, because I think it's something that you've been waiting for, like maybe in the back of your mind, you know what I mean? Like if it's like an ex from a couple of years ago, two, three, four years ago, however long, it's like in the back of the mind, your mind, some part of you is always waiting for them to come around and you know, it might just be time to just clear this up just so that, I mean, it's just, again, it's just about you. It's about you speaking your truth, you restoring your throat chakra, you taking your power back, you cutting toxic people out, not letting people drain you, not letting psychic vampires get to you anymore, you know, clearing this energy out. And it could even be like a belief that you have. This could be you doing shadow work. Could be a belief. Maybe you already cut this person out, but you need to do some shadow work and maybe even journal, do some journal writing and burn the pages. You know what I mean? Maybe it's like a belief that you have that's been limiting you. But whatever this energy is, I feel like you guys know what it is and it's time to clear it out um, so that your manifestations, because you're, you're so close to manifesting what you want. It's just this little block that keeps getting in the way. It's this, whether it's a belief or a person, it's, you know, just, just clear it up. Just do what you need to do. As always, um, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That email is right below in the description box below this video. And I can go more in depth into your personal situation. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, you know, please share on social media because maybe someone that you know needs to hear this message as well. So thanks for watching.